Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm back with another skincare video and today I'm going to be using a mask that was sent to me by a company called Alia Skin and basically it is a pink perfect Australian pink clay mask and it's supposed to be detoxifying and it's supposed to brighten your skin. Now I was sent this product, um, this is not a sponsored video so I'm going to do a true review after I apply it to my face. So before I start, I'm going to put my hair back because obviously I don't want any of the product in my hair. I'm just going to put it back really quickly. As you guys know, um, if you've watched any of my other skincare videos, I really am into DIY face masks. So this is really going to be interesting to use. This product actually, what caught my attention was it has, okay, not only the fact that they're from Australia, I love Australia. Honestly, if I could live there, I would. As far as ingredients go, um, it has aloe vera, it has vitamin C. Um, those are just a few of the um, actually ingredients I look for when I'm gonna be making a mask and stuff like that. So that caught my eye. It kind of has a scent to it. So if you are scent sensitive, I don't recommend using this because it actually smells like rose essence or something like that. Um, and basically this, the mask is like a clay consistency and it's pink. If I didn't have a brush, I'd probably just use my finger. So it's actually pretty thick. So I'm going to do my best to apply it. So I'm going to apply it using a brush. So my first impressions while I'm putting this on, it's actually very cooling. It has like this cooling sensation and it actually goes on really nicely. It's, um, I'm not going to put it too much down my neck, but I'm going to put it probably like halfway. Every time I do masks, I like to go down to my neck. So the skin on my neck is treated equally. So it's actually really cooling. And another thing is, is you don't actually need that much product and it's pretty much covered really, really well. And then I can't forget like my nose in between my eyebrows. Now, one thing I don't like about it though is the smell. So if you can get over the smell, I don't know. Um, I, have, I wasn't always very scent sensitive, but this one, it's kind of a little too strong on the rose side for me. I can honestly feel it starting to actually cool and dry on my face. So I'm just gonna give that about 10 minutes as it indicated on the box and I'll be right back after I wash it off. So I've had this mask on for about a couple minutes now and it's starting to like tingle now. So before it kind of felt like it's cooling. So it still has that sensation of like cooling, but it's starting to like feel like tingly. So I hope it's okay for my skin. I'll have to see after I wash it off. Okay, everybody, I'm back after 10 minutes. I left the mask on my face for 10 minutes and then I washed it off with like warm water. Um, I have to say it was so annoying to wash off though. Um, it does recommend um, the packaging to use a wet cloth. I started off just trying to rub it off my face, but definitely I think that's the reason why they recommend using a cloth to wipe it off first and then you can kind of wash it off after. I'm just one of those people that hates washing my face in the sink, hence why I always, um, at the end of the night, after have to shower because I like to wash my face in the shower so that the water doesn't go everywhere. So after using the mask, they recommend to moisturize your face. So I'm just gonna quickly moisturize my face. And this is just using one of my favorite moisturizers from the body shop. So I'm just gonna quickly moisturize my face. And this is my honest review. Um, I don't wanna sit here and tell you guys that, oh, you know, the blemishes on my face went away. My face and skin looks a lot better blah, 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 blah. Um, I am going to say though, after using the mask, it definitely did feel like it did brighten my skin a little bit. And it does make it feel like I actually did put a mask on. I still can't get over the fact of the smell. Um, I just don't like the smell of it. And I can still kind of smell that on my face. I am a fan of DIY masks, but this one is actually pretty good. Um, it left my skin kind of feeling tingling when I had it on. Um, it dried fairly quickly. You only have to let it sit for 10 minutes and um, it washed off quickly, but make sure you follow the instructions and use a damp cloth and then literally just moisturize your skin afterwards. So my honest review is this mask is good, but I don't think I'm gonna sit here and pretend to you guys that it made a huge difference to my skin in those 10 minutes, but maybe after some time of using it, um, it may make a difference for your skin and I feel like maybe it might make a difference for mine.
But I'm definitely going to stick to my DIY masks because I love those and they're super easy to make and they're all ingredients you can find in your kitchen. Um, so make sure you guys stay tuned to my channel for more DIY masks and skincare videos. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and like this video down below. Thanks and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.